animals need. So right now, Detroit Dog Rescue is helping the pets. They're affected by Hurricane Sandy. The organization is putting together a shipment of some 17,000 pounds. I believe that's right. We'll get correction here in a minute of pet food and also supplies. Let's talk about how you can help as well. So I'm joined this morning by co-founder of the Detroit Dog Rescue, Dan Carlisle, as well as Mr. David Rudolph, who's going to speak about some of, uh, he's the director of communications for the organization. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. So you're going to be talking about uh, an event coming up. But first up, let's talk about what's happening on the East Coast, just in terms of the animals' needs now because of the storm. Well, you know, since the Hurricane Sandy, a lot of the pets that were on Long Island, uh, they became displaced. Mm -hmm. um, and now we have a lot of dogs and cats in shelters. Um, most of the dogs are being temperament uh, assessed right now, and mm -hmm. and there's still a lot of missing pets right now. So you're in touch with some of the organizations there on the East Coast, and they've kind of given you um, this information to let you know that there really is an urgent need. Correct. So what are you doing to meet the need? I understand you're going to be doing some driving starting today. That's right. Um, well, we have a... a caravan of two trucks uh, and we're actually carrying 7,000 pounds of dog food, dog and cat food, okay. um, which was donated by our... That's a lot. <laughs> it is, it is. Um, it was donated by our partners at Detroit Canine Pet Supplies here in Detroit. Um, and we're going to head out to Long Island where most of the damage was, you know, uh, touched down at and it's, we're looking at video of some of the supplies being loaded on there so that you guys can prep to head out, because you're heading out, you said, today. Yes, we head out today at 1 o'clock. Um, we're going to try to get out there and, and get out there as soon as, as soon as we can, because a lot of the residents can't get to pet stores and, and get food and supplies for their pets, as well as the shelters that are housing uh, the dogs and cats that have been okay. displaced. And of course, there's still needs here locally. And so, Mr. Rudolph, if you speak to the fact that uh, the Detroit Dog Rescue has another mission and you can help, because this organization is a bit different in that you don't euthanize. That's right. And we're, you were established no just almost two years ago, and so they really need your help. So what's coming up? Well, absolutely. Um, uh, Detroit does have a need also. And uh, on Saturday, December 1, uh, Detroit Dog Rescue uh, will be hosting its pet pantry project, which really is a, uh, much like a food bank, which is to provide city of Detroit residents who may be in need of dog food to, to feed their, uh, their pets. Uh, we'll be offering another uh, almost four tons of dog food that will be available uh, for residents So uh, December uh, the, the uh, 1st. Okay, so December 1st, basically mm -hmm. you're opening your doors, mm -hmm. a pet pantry where you can come out and get the free both food and supplies that people need to support their pets. Yes. Dogs and cats alike, guinea pigs in there too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about guinea pigs. Not the guinea pigs, okay. Well, well, that's a great effort, but if people want to help, are you accepting donations as well? Oh, absolutely. Uh, we know that people will come and that they'll be able to receive, but if someone also wants to make a donation even at that time, absolutely, we are taking that donations at that time. Okay, thank you, Mr. Carlisle, Mr. Rudolph. We appreciate it. And, thank uh, you. Good